Okay guys, uh, now it's time to go ahead and start creating our first sales funnel. And uh, in this training here, uh, we're gonna be doing be doing some pretty cool stuff here. Um, got a list of things that we're definitely gonna need to cover and uh, I think you're really gonna get excited. So so let's just go ahead and just jump right into it. You know, uh, uh, hopefully by, you know, from watching the, the last videos, you you got a better understanding of how, the, how a sales funnel can really help you in your business um, if, you're, if you're implementing it the correct way. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it in terms of uh, creating our sales funnel. So of course I'm on my Miley System Pro homepage. What I need to do now is uh, let me go ahead and log in. And while I'm logging in guys, uh, just remember, so don't forget to, if you need to pause, play, pause, play, uh, while you're going through this process to make sure that you're not missing anything when you're setting this up. So I'm gonna take you from the beginning all the way to the end of creating a sales funnel. You maybe, maybe even your very first sales funnel for your business. So we're attempting to create a sales funnel or lead capture page, a uh, high converting lead capture page for your primary business, whether it be your, your MLM, your, your opportunity, whatever. Okay, um, so, so that's what we're doing is for your primary business your primary opportunity business. So, so just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm in my back office of Miley System Pro. So what I need to do now is click on, uh, I need to go to my websites. And, and also really, really quick before I go into that, um, there's, there's more training on, 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 on creating your sales funnel using the funnelizer, which is what we're about to do here is I'm gonna walk you through how to create your first sales funnel using Funnelizer, which is a MLSP platform. So there's more training about the Funnelizer. If you go to training, then marketing strategies, just make a note of this. Uh, you don't have to go here now, but just make a note of it. Uh, when you go to training, marketing strategies, and then if you click right here where it says Funnelizer, it's gonna bring you to several videos, even some videos that Lanasium and myself actually did. Uh, so you can see that one right there. Uh, so we went over some really good stuff there. So that was a good video. And actually all these are really good videos that really give you much more detailed information about the Funnelizer and, and, and all the great benefits of it. Because in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to just create a simple funnel, simple sales funnel for your business using Funnelizer. So, so to get into the Funnelizer, what you gotta do is you go to my websites and then click on new MLSP Funnelizer beta. So when you click on that, it's gonna bring you to this page here. Just click on Launch MLSP Funnelizer. Matter of fact, do it in a different window. And boom, I am here. I'm in my Funnelizer right now, still loading up some of my existing uh, um, you know, funnels that I'm currently using right now. So uh, this is pretty much it, but what I want you to do once you get here, what you need to do is go ahead and click on right here where it says Create funnel this green button right here when you click on that that this little drop down is going to pop up here and what you want to do is give your funnel a name you can give it your company name you know whatever opportunity that you're promoting or whatever only the only people that will see that is you you're just giving it a name so you can come back to it because any funnel that you create will be in a list and then you if you want to find a certain funnel or edit a certain funnel you will see it by the name so i'm just going to call this one back to the basics, okay? And, and after you give it a funnel name, you wanna give it a domain name and funnel slug or or really just, you know, like when you have, a, we talked about this before, when you have a domain name and like from a company, it gives you the name of the company, .com forward slash and then whatever. Well, that little whatever right after the forward slash, that's what we have to do here is give this a, you know, just a, a unique name because that's actually gonna be the link for the website. So, um, or for that particular funnel. Uh, so if I go to, I'm just gonna say BTTB for back to the basics. How about that? And then just create the funnel. And when you create the funnel, you give it a second. And what we wanna do here is give it a page name. We'll just say, uh, and this is just page one. Of course, you can make multiple pages and all that training is in the, we're not gonna go into a lot of that detail. I'm keeping it real simple for you guys here. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give it a, give, give this page a name. Uh, so I'm just gonna say um, BTTB. And, and again, this is, this is for my own personal usage here. Nobody sees that piece. But under here, I'll put BTTB page one. No, no spaces. 
Okay. Now, uh, I don't want to save anything just yet because right below here, guys, you're going to see a series of different lead capture page templates that are already created for you. They've already made them up. All you have to do is change your name, change what you want to say. All you, you can edit whatever it is that's in there. It's already created for you. You don't have to really create anything from scratch. It's already here. And so there's a lot of different ones just to kind of give you an example. Like if I click on, uh, let's see, what's one that I, one that I use a lot, that video one there, I can click on view preview. This is an example of what this one looks like. You know, um, you have your video there, so on and so forth. There's your opt in button there. So I'm gonna close that out. And, uh, and then there's a few other ones. Here's, here's one. I think this is the one that we're actually going to be using. Um, you can see that there, you can put your own images and everything behind those as well. Um, so it just gives you, there's a lot of great options here, guys. I mean, a ton of different pages that you can choose from, uh, for your, you know, for your business. So whatever, whatever it is that you're, you're, you're attempting to do, you'll have plenty, plenty of opportunities to, you know, to make those changes. Let me see view, view preview to show you one more. Here's another one. That's pretty cool. I like that one. Pretty clean pretty like bam in your face, uh, really cool stuff there. So um, that's pretty much it. So what we gotta do, we gotta choose one though. So I'm just gonna choose, there's another plain one there, a lot, lot of cool stuff. So when, you know, I would definitely go in here and kind of look at all the different ones. Uh, but again, I'm just gonna choose one for this example so we can go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna choose this one right here. So it says use template, not view, preview. I wanna use this one. And when I click it, it's gonna give me a little blue, little white check, check mark there. <coughs> excuse me and uh so i've got that there and so all i have to do now is i've got my funnel that i want to use or template that i want to build from i've got my names and all that information there i want to save a page and go ahead and start editing it so when i click on that it's going to give me the opportunity to go ahead and start editing okay give it a second there okay there we go now so this is the page here, right? And, and if you notice there's, there, there's over here to the left, and again, there's more training on the funnelizer in the back office of Miley System Pro where I showed you earlier. So, uh, but again, I'm just gonna keep this really simple. Under the page contents is where you can actually make changes to this actual sales funnel right here, okay? So if you notice as I scroll down the actual segments or uh, sections of the funnel, it highlights itself. So if I scroll over background it highlights the background if i scroll over section content and i can see this little drop down here i can click on this and it brings it even down more so as now you can really see that every time i scroll over something something highlights itself see that right so and if you look over here on the right hand side these little these little eyeballs here let's say for example i don't want a uh let's say uh section content i can click on that eyeball and all that goes away. Click it back, it all appears. If I don't want a subheadline, I can click on that and that subheadline disappears. If I don't want a headline in general, click on that and that disappears. See, you see that? So you control pretty much everything on the page, right? So, so what we wanna do is what we wanna go ahead and edit what we're gonna say here. We're also gonna change the image as well. But first, let's just go ahead and, and actually do some edits here. I've got something that I already created that we can actually put here. Uh, and you can use this if you want to as well. Um, let's see, I finally figured out how to legally extract cash money off the internet. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna say here. Um, if I wanna use a sub headline, I can. I don't want to, I'm just gonna take that off. See that, so I just made that disappear, okay? I can even change what I want to say here. Uh, yes, give me lifetime access. So if I, if I don't want to say that there, I can actually change that. So if I go to, actually that's going to be under, there it is right here. So um, 
let's see, we could just say, I want to know. We could say yes. Tell me more. How about that? We'll do that right there. Uh, do I want that copyright thing there? No, no, I don't think I want that. And if you notice here, it says section footer. So everything that's in the footer, I can click on that drop down. And it's just a copyright. So I could just take that, boop, and that disappears. Uh, and see, I can keep that. Your information is safe. We hate spam too. I can keep all that information there. So, so far, that looks good. I like that. S simple. Um, I finally figured out how to legally extract cash money off the internet. This is going to be fun. Guys, when it comes to sales copy, there's all kinds of ways I can go with that. Um, I always try to find ways I can tell a story. Uh, when you can tell a story, it just makes it more interesting. It's not about just saying, here's my product. This is what it does. Buy. I mean, they have no connection with you yet. So it, it, it's, sometimes it's really kind of hard to do that. So here, I'm just trying to tell a story. I'm trying to create curiosity so they can see exactly what I figured out. So if they, when they opt in and it takes them to my opportunity page, they'll see how I figured out how to legally extract cash off the internet using this particular business opportunity, right? So they'll find out all that additional information. But right now, I just want them to know, well, what is he talking about? How, how does he legally extract cash money off the internet, right? So, and again, that's not the best sales copy in the world. Uh, there's all kinds of different ways that you can go with that. The best best advice I can give you is always tell a story. Become a master at telling stories and creating curiosity instead of just, here's my product, it does this, it does that, opt in. Well, there's really no need to opt in because you just told them exactly what it is that it does. What's the use of opting, opting in? You, you already told them what it is, right? Again, the whole purpose of the funnel is to build your list. Remember, Everybody doesn't join until when? Five, after five or seven exposures. So we want them to opt in so they can at least see the information. We already know statistically that they're not gonna buy on that first exposure. It's gonna take several times for them to even make a decision, yes, I want that, or no, I don't want that. It takes them at least five to seven times to make that decision. You see what I mean? So right now we're not concerned if they're gonna join, we're concerned in getting the lead, okay? That's all we want at this point is just, just and just just a lead. And I know if I get enough leads, I will get enough. I will get a certain number of sales. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been been talking a lot on these these, these webinars here. But uh, uh, but anyway, that's really what it's all about. OK, now. Um, so let's see. What do we have here? What do we, we got that set up? We got that. So uh, what I need, I'm going to go ahead and save. If you see here in the top, you got preview, save, publish changes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, so if I save save changes I want to save it and I want to hit preview let's preview it real quick okay <clears throat> all right so this is what it looks like okay very simple straight to the point you know uh kind of popping kind of eye catch you got the red button right there looks good I like it but again I don't have my image on here though I want to put my picture on here so I can make it pop even more. So what I'm going to do, so let me, uh, let me see, let's go back. I'll just close out the preview. We'll close preview. All right. Well, there's several ways you can do that there. Okay. I just close it out that way. So we saved that. <clears throat> so what we want to do is we want to actually upload our own image. So what, what I'm going to have to do here is uh, if you see this right here where it says settings right here at the top if you click on that it's going to bring up where it says media okay what you want to do because that's what we're attempting to do is add some media you know this is where you do videos this is where you do images and all that i'm not going to go into the video aspect it's all in the training i'm just going to keep this really really simple for you today but you can pretty much figure it out yourself if you just get back at get back there and actually check everything out all right so click on media when you click on media Give it a second. It's going to come up with this page here. As you can see, I got several images already on several lead capture pages. So we want to add a new one. So if I click on add new image and uh, we're going to give it a new name, we're just going to say BTTB image one. Let's just do that. 
just just a name. Nobody sees that. It's just for your own record. I mean, you can call your image whatever you want to call it. And so we're going to pick a, pick a file off my computer. So it's going to bring down my my uh, file finder here. And uh, let's see. I'm going to choose this image right here. Okay. And I'm going to hit open. And oh, uh-oh. The file size is too big. I actually did this on purpose because I wanted you to see it. Sometimes, you know, because you know, we have a lot of these, these high-tech phones and cameras and everything, and sometimes those images are, like, extremely big. Well, it says right here, uh, the image file size is too big. The maximum image file size allowed is 256 kilobytes. So you got to make sure that that image size is not too big, okay? Because if it's too big, you're going to get this error. So how do we fix that issue? Really, really easy. Let me show you. Um, you might want to write this down or bookmark it. If you go to pick resize.com, pick resize, P I C R E S I Z E.com. Simple because you're about to resize your picture, right? Makes sense. So, uh, what you want to do is click here where it says browse right there. It's going to open up your file, you know, folder uh, on your computer. And, and you want to find that image. Okay, there's the image that I'm trying to use for this particular funnel. It's too big, so I need to bring it down some. Uh, and, and if you notice too, okay, there it is. So it, it actually uh, took it. So now I got to go to continue here. And I'll show you exactly what I was getting ready to say here in a sec. So when I hit continue, it's going to analyze the image and all that good stuff. So now it's you know uh, done the analysis on the image. But I noticed that I'm actually kind of here on the right side of the image. But I remember the the funnel that we're using. Actually, the 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 actual form to where people can opt in is kind of located near the right side of the page. Hmm. So what I want to do is I wonder if I can actually move myself, flip myself over on this side, so there's more space on this side of the image for the form to fit. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. I can do it with pick resize. I can actually do a lot of, lot of cool editing with it. So what I wanna do right here, it says flip horizontal. You don't have to do this on every image. You might pick an image that might just be perfect and you're fine. But in this case, I wanna use this image, but the sales funnel that I chose, the sales funnel template, the, 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 uh, the actual form is actually on the same side of where I'm actually sitting here, standing right here on the image. So I want to flip myself like this. Watch this. Flip horizontal. Give it a second. Bam. Just like that. All right. So I got that. So now when I save this image, when I upload this to the funnel, the, the sales form will actually be on this side. So it'd be real. It'd be pretty cool. I think it'd be pretty cool. Now, pretty cool image. Now, if you look here, it says resize your picture. Uh, so in step number two here, well, Normally, like I, I, I take a lot of pictures with, you know, my phone, which takes really, really big images. I have another camera that takes really, really high def images. So those files are like super, super big. Uh, so typically uh, I have to do more than 50 percent smaller. So it, it, you can try 50 percent smaller. This is basically what it's saying. It's going to reduce the size of this image down to 50 percent. OK. Um, Sometimes I've done it, it didn't quite work. So typically I usually just do 75% and it, and it usually works out just fine. So 75% is usually uh, the one that I use most of the time. And then I scroll down. Step three, if you want to add some special effects and cool stuff, you, you can. I mean, if you if you want to, you can. If you want to, you know, add some really cool types of effects, um, you know, I, I typically don't. It just depends on because a lot of times I'm using images, they already have it on there. But if you want to, great, knock yourself out. And then, of course, you pretty much just want to go ahead and save it. Typically, I save it as a JPEG. It's pretty pretty self, pretty self self-explanatory. So 75% smaller. I'm done. Resize my picture, please. So when I click on that, it's going to come up with this page here. So your image was successfully resized. You want to save it to your disk, your hard drive. It's typically what I want to do. So I'm going to hit yes. I want that. I'm going to click on that little button there and give it a second. And there it's actually downloading. All right. So now, since I got that set, I'm going to come back here to my image upload page, choose that again. I'm on Funnelizer now. 
And so I want to go to my download section and find that image. I think that's it right there. The last one. I'm going to hit, uh, let's see. Upload. Is that the one? 0772. Actually, there's a different one there because it's still showing to the right. Let me cancel this real quick and make sure it did it right. Do, do, do. Give it a second. My computer's like running like crazy slow because I got all this. So I'm recording my screen and everything and I got all this stuff open. Uh, give it a second. Okay, there we go. All right. Didn't mean to show anything there, guys. Oh, I closed out my page at the same time. Sorry, guys. My computer's just like running like crazy, crazy slow right now. So let me go back to MLSP. Come on, come on, computer. Give it a second. My website. Funnelizer and launch MSP Funnelizer, which is fine because we needed to go back here anyway. So I'm going to go back to media. And add new image. Under downloads. Give it a different name. Maybe that's why it's doing that. Let's check. It might, it might even come up or it might come up right. Because I think because I, I actually downloaded a few other ones before. So we're going to uh, call this. BTTB2 image, upload. Now let's see if that works. Yep, it came out right. It just, the, the, the preview was a little weird. So remember, so that's the, that's the image. Let's view it, view the preview. So the image came out perfectly the way, exactly the way I needed it to be. I needed, I needed to be on the left-hand side and not the, uh, not the right. So look like it worked perfectly. Okay. So now let me go ahead and find, go back to Funnelizer here. So we got that uploaded. So now what I need to do is go back to the actual funnel that I was creating. So what I, what I need to do, which is probably on page two, there it is, back to basics. I'm gonna click on edit. That's how you, now I've got a lot of funnels. Now yours, you probably won't have that long list, of course, like I, like I do. So it's going to come here to my variation. I just want to click on edit page and it's going to come pop right back up to right where we left off before I close it out. My, my computer just run a little slow there for a second, probably because I was doing all that editing and everything. So, um, all right. So I got that. So there's our funnel. Remember from earlier. So, and we actually, we, we went ahead and uploaded the image. Remember we just did that. So now all I have to do is click on here where it says background image. So when I click on that, it's going to bring up this page over here. It's going to bring up these options. So it's saying use the default template image. Um, no, I don't, I really don't want to use the ocean backgrounds. Definitely been used too much, right? So I want to put my own, you want to put your own image on there. So I'm going to click change image. And it's going to give me the options of what images I can use. Here's the one that we just edited, right? We made smaller. So select image. Remember before, remember it was too big and it wouldn't accept it. We shrunk it 75% and even moved it over the, you know, flipped it horizontal so it actually worked for the funnel. So we'll select the image and boom, there it is. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to preview it here real quick. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so that's gonna be pretty hot. So of course there's me, 
There's, uh, you know, there's, that's me on the strip. I think we were at MGM or Planet, I think it was Planet Hollywood. Yeah. You know, right outside of Planet Hollywood, there's the Paris Tower there. Uh, so just a bit, you know, I finally figured out how to legally extract cash money off the internet. This is going to be fun, right? Uh, yes. Tell me more. So all they have to do is put their information in and boom, we're ready to go. So guys, that's pretty much it in terms of setting it up. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do this right quick here first. So we got it saved. So we want to go ahead and publish the changes. So if I click publish, it's going to go ahead and publish that, right? And then next we have to go to Funnelizer. Uh, I'm just going to go back here to Funnelizer, the main page. I'm going to scroll down. Now for you, again, I've got a lot of funnels running. So for you, you'll just have probably just that one, right, initially. So let me find that particular funnel. There it is there. Click on edit again. Remember, that's the back to the basics. I'm going to hit edit. And what I got to do is make sure I, I got to make it go live online is what we're attempting to do here. Because here's the link here. But here's the thing. If I go to this link. It says it can't find the page. Okay. Because again, even though I published it, it published the actually it just published the funnel, but it didn't make it live online. So what I got to do now is actually help it go live online. So right here it says variation. I need to start that variation. Just do that. And again, if you don't understand, don't worry about it, guys. Don't even try to figure this out. Just do what I did here. It was on pause. I want to, and I clicked on start variation. Now it shows that it's done there and then click publish funnel. Okay. All right. And it tells me now what running. Okay. Now when I go back, it should, it should, uh, it should be live. Let's see. There it is. Okay. And there's my link. That's the link to it right there. Okay. So, but there's still a few things that we're going to need to do. We're going to need to tie in our autoresponder to when people opt in, you'll get the lead and they'll start getting a series of messages over a, a certain period of time. So to show you how to do that, we're going to do that in the next video. So what you want to do now is to do everything that I just did. Use your image. Don't, don't use one of those default images. Let me say it again. Do not use a default image. Put your image on there. Okay. Why? Because it connects with people more. Okay. In the world of marketing, you got to do things that people probably have never seen you do before. So if they've never seen you on a lead capture page, that makes it even more interesting. Oh man, I've never seen Steve do something like that before. What is he talking about? Let me opt in and see. I've never, how did he do that? That's what you want to do. That's the engagement that you want for your business. So if you have not done that before, definitely go ahead and do that. Go ahead and create your funnel. Go ahead and follow the steps, everything that I just did. If you want to use that sales copy that I used before, great. If you need to pick a, you know, you can use this particular funnel. You can use another one if you want. Uh, uh, but I would definitely, you know, encourage you to definitely use a, a you know, an image.